Yo guys, from Africa, my name is Nazvin. The channel is Nazvin, my name is Vincent. 15 things that reduces penny size. 15 things that reduces penny size. That's what we're going to talk about today. This is where we get to talk matters medical in a simple language, which we can always understand. And that is why you need to share this with your, your people. Uh, who are in your circle of online media uh, specifically we are doing this for YouTube kindly uh, share the video widely we get to share matters here very sensitive such as matters penis size and uh, these are very common uh, organ which we have and we discuss about it without any fear or favor so that because uh, the, the aim of this is that we get to improve our health uh, as much as possible and also discussing those things which are considered especially in African society as taboos uh, but in a simple language which is respectful for everyone to understand. So the 15 things that reduce penny size that's what we are going to talk about today. There are various factors that, that, and conditions that can potentially reduce the penny size either temporarily or permanently and I'm going to talk about the 15 such factors which affects the penis size. Number one, effects. We talk about aging. The effect of age, because of the loss of elasticity and the testosterone can lead to shrinkage of the penis size. So with age, so as a man, as you age, we expect that to reduce in size. And uh, that one can really for some, it, can, it may have a, a negative impact at the end of the day, or it can uh, it cannot have an impact at the end of the day, but it is what it is. Weight gain is also another way, where excess fat, particularly in the pubic area, can make the penis appear small, but it doesn't mean it is small. Number two is about smoking. A, a smoking directly affects the, reduces the blood flow and damages the blood vessels, potentially causing the penile shrinkage at the end of the day. Medications, certain medications like antidepressants or medication for the prostate enlargement can affect the erectile dysfunction and also perceived uh, size, uh, reduced size. What you call peyonil disease, peyonil disease, uh, the scar tissues development that can cause the penis to bend and also shorten, which is also another thing. Potential surgery is also another thing where effect of the procedures such as prostatectomy can lead to penile shrinkage at the end of the day. Also hormonal changes. When we talk about uh, hormonal changes, when we go low on testosterone levels, it can reduce also the penile size. Lack of use also is another thing where decreased erection or lack of sexual activity can lead to penile atrophy, what you call penile atrophy. So engaging in this is uh, can be very health at the end of the day and also we get to help you at the end of the day to be health at the end of the day. Uh, so substance abuse, drug and excessive use of alcohol can affect the blood flow and also erectile function which can be very detrimental at the end of the day. Stress and anxiety, where we, when we talk about stress and anxiety we're talking about uh, uh, chronic stress which can lead to hormonal imbalances affecting the penile size at the end of the day. Poor circulation is also another thing which can be uh, experienced. And when you talk about uh, these, uh, and when we talk about uh, these uh, uh, stress and uh, anxiety, so we talk about uh, how it affects it. Poor circulation also is another thing where we talk about conditions like diabetes, also cardiovascular diseases, where they impair blood flow, affecting the size. Injury, trauma to the penile area can cause scarring and shrinkage. Hormonal disorders, conditions like uh, hypogonadism, can result in reduced uh, testosterone and also penile uh, size at the end of the day. Radiation therapy, treatment of uh, pelvic cancers can lead to penile shrinkage, so uh, so that they affect also the uh, penile size. So now, when we talk about uh, radi uh, radiation therapy, we talk about hormonal disorders, we talk about injury, 
we talk about poor circulation, we talk about stress and anxiety, we talk about substance abuse, we talk about smoking, lack of use, we talk about hormonal changes, we talk about prostate uh, surgery, we talk about perinatal disease, we talk about medications, we talk about smoking, we talk about weight gain and aging. They are the main factors which can cause uh, the penis to reduce in size. So what are the causes of this uh, reduction in size? We talk about aging, uh, we talked about uh, uh, natural diseases like uh, they reduce uh, natural decrease in testosterone levels because of age. So the um, reducing of the elasticity of the penis, this can cause gradual shrinkage, loss of firmness and reduced erectile function. Weight gain, accumulation of fats in the pubic area, penis shortened due to partially buried under excess fat. So this one can appear shorter, but it's not just mean it reduced in size. Smoking, they damage the blood vessels and also reduce blood flow to the penis. So they decrease erectile quality and also partially and also uh, can cause possible shrinkage over time. Medications such as antidepressants, beta blockers and the prostate medications reduce libido, erectile dysfunction and perceived size uh, uh, reduction. Peyonie disease, formation of fibrous uh, tissues inside the penis, which cause uh, it to be bent or curved. Uh, curved. The pain, the pain uh, during erections, noticeable shortening, can also be about, about this. Prostate surgery, such as uh, radio, radical prostate, uh, prostatectomy, can be uh, can cause this, th this, and also cause uh, penal uh, shrinkage or post surgery problems. Hormonal changes, low testosterone levels, reduced libido, erectile dysfunction, shrinkage of, penile, of the penile tissues. Lack of use in frequent uh, erections or, or sexual activity can also be this kind of, uh, can be the cause of this. So how do you manage this uh, uh, reduced penis size? Managing reduced penis size involves addressing underlying issues. So we must know where the problem is uh, so that we may get uh, to address it as much as uh, uh, as possible. Uh, so addressing, w when we want to address uh, the, the main issue, we must know the, the problem, we must know where the problem really uh, is. So when we talk about uh, this, uh, um, uh, when we talk about uh, management of these uh, problems, we talk about uh, quitting smoking, uh, especially when we talk about lifestyle modification, you, you, you must agree men that you stop smoking to improve blood flow and also vascular health because smoking damages your blood vessels so that's very key uh, maintaining healthy weight is also another way where you engage in regular physical activity to eat a balanced diet and reduce excess fat in the pubic hair making the pains appear uh, long so limiting alcohol and avoiding uh, drugs is very key to reduce alcohol consumption and avoiding uh, recreational drugs. The, this improves overall health and also erectile function. Medical treatments uh, like testosterone replacement therapy is very key, where you use medical supervision, uh, medical supervision if uh, uh, low testosterone levels are diagnosed. This can help increase the libido and improve erectile function and also prevent shrinkage. Prostate surgery recovery, so flow, follow uh, your post-operative uh, surgery rehabilitation pro techniques so, so such as penal rehabilitation exercises as directed by your healthcare provider so to help regain erectile function and also uh, prevent shrinkage at the end of the day. Hormonal therapy uh, treats underlying conditions, hormonal imbalances or disorders as appropriate to restore hormonal levels and also improve uh, penile health at the end of the day. Physical therapy exercises now, when we talk about physical therapy exercises, key girl exercise is very key to strengthen the pelvic floor muscles. This improved the blood flow and also erectile function at the end of the day. So with this, regular sexual activity also is very key. Engage in regular sexual activity or use penile pumps to promote erections to prevent atrophy and maintain uh, penile tissue health. Surgical interventions, sometimes we have uh, penile implants which are used, surgical in, in uh, in, uh, inserted to enable erections to use in cases of severe dis uh, sexual dysfunction and restoring function as uh, function and also size at the particular point. So penile grafting and also what you call publication 
where surgical procedures to correct pioneer disease is done. This reduces the curvature and also restores the strength of the penis at the end of the day. Psychological support is very key, where your counseling and therapy is very key. You seek professional help for stress, anxiety, and depression, which is very key at, the, at that particular point, to enhance the sexual health uh, uh, and also overall well-being at the end of the day. So this can, have, can get to help you uh, uh, enhance your sexual health as appropriate so that you get uh, to help yourself in this kind of, uh, so with the, especially with the work with your sex uh, therapist, it can help you address uh, sexual uh, dysfunction and enhance sexual health and overall well-being at the end of the day. Also, self-monitoring is very key, where you be aware of any changes in the penile function or size, where you and get your healthcare provider to address the any problem promptly and the concerns with the healthcare provider as appropriate. So effective management of reduced penis size involves combination of lifestyle changes, medical treatments, physical therapy and psychological support at the end of the day. So to address underlying health issues, maintaining health lifestyle and seeking professional help uh, when needed can help manage and also potentially reverse the effects of penile shrinkage and also regular monitoring and open communication with your crucial, uh, is very crucial with your healthcare provider and also your partner for optimal penile health to be achieved. Unfortunately, sometimes, uh, mostly men leave these things to get to complications. And uh, I'm going to mention some of those uh, potential complications which are associated with uh, penile health. And uh, when we talk about these complications, we talk about ED or erectile dysfunction as number one. And when we talk about this, sorry for that. And when we talk about erectile dysfunction, we're talking about difficulty in achieving or maintaining an erection at the end of the day. So it, this reduces the sexual satisfaction and also confidence. So, and also number two, we talk about reduced sexual pleasure where it decreases the sensation and satisfaction during sexual activity. So we have low quality of sexual experience for both partners at the end of the day. Strain in relationship is also another thing where emotional or inadequacy of low self-esteem and also depression can come, up, can come up where we have communication breakdown and also decreased intimacy and the potential uh, relationship breakdown at the end of the day. Psychological impact, we have some things which are psychologically related which can come all, all crop up at the end of the day. So when we talk about this, we have mental health issues which can exacerbate the physical symptoms. Urinary tracts or urinary problems, we are like, uh, we have difficulties with the urination and also reduced size and underlying health issues. This increases the, the risk of uh, urinary tract infections and also discomfort. By urinary disease complications can also crop up where we have coverage and shortening of the penis to the scar so it can, can be very painful during sexual function and also difficulty with sexual intercourse where um, some men can dissolve to avoid sexual activity at the end of the day. Also, we have impact of fertility where erectile dysfunction and reduced in the in ejaculation can affect the fertility. The difficulty in achieving pregnancy can be a, a, a thing where emotional stress and, uh, and, related, and, uh, and the stress related to fertility can also be another problem which comes about. Hormonal imbalances can be another thing where conditions like uh, hypogonadism, uh, crop sin, where it can lead to reduced libido, uh, libido and also further decrease in sexual function and overall health. Penile atrophy can also be another thing. Uh, when we talk about penile atrophy, uh, where we have decreased penile issues, tissue due to lack of use of uh, uh, medication. The impact of this in permanent reduction in size and erectile uh, function. Complications for prostate uh, surgery. Uh, with this, post-surgical shrinkage and erection dysfunction can sometimes uh, be expected uh, from this. And, and long-term sexual and uh, urinary health issues can crop up. Impact on overall, overall health. Conditions causing penile shrinkage like cardiovascular disease can affect the overall health increased risk of other uh, serious health conditions. So chronic pain is also another, another complication where pain from conditions like pioneer disease is also
Yes, so we get to that uh, also chronic pain, pain from conditions like pain disease is also another thing where reduced quality of life and sexual activity can come, uh, come about. So sexual avoidance is also another complication where because of due to embarrassment and discomfort, uh, they can, this, and this can strain the relationships and also mental health at the end of the day. Infections and, and uh, inflammation is also another complications with increased risk of infection due to poor hygiene and also medical conditions. The pain, discomfort, and also further complications can come about with this. So the complication is usually with the reduced penis size, extend beyond physical symptoms, and can significantly impact the psychological well-being of an individual relationship and also overall quality of life. By addressing these complications, it requires a very comprehensive approach that includes medical treatment, lifestyle changes, physical support, and also open communication with the healthcare provider and partners. Early intervention, proactive management are very crucial to minimize uh, these complications at the end of the day. On the preventive part of it, we say about maintaining healthy weight. It's very key to reduce the excess fat in pubic hair and promote the overall uh, health. When we talk about uh, maintaining a healthy weight, we talk about uh, regular physical activity and balanced diet. There's no shortcut about it. Avoiding smoking. Uh, quit smoking to avoid exposure to second and smoke also. Uh, second and second and smoking. So it's, it's also very... Uh, which can affect you. So to improve uh, blood flow and reduce the risk of uh, vascular damage and also affecting very penile size. Limit alcohol and avoid drugs. So reduce alcohol consumption and rec recreation of drugs, guys. It can help you to maintain your health as much as possible, to support better electrical function and also overall, uh, overall health of an individual. So also manage stress is also another way where you get to manage your stress as much as possible. Uh, when, when we talk about managing stress, uh, we're talking about stress reduction uh, techniques, meditation, yoga, deep breathing exercises, so that you get to, the, to reduce the negative impact of stress on a mono balance and also erectile function. Monitor and manage health conditions. If you have uh, things like uh, diabetes, hypertension, cardiovascular diseases, always uh, get to control them very well to avoid complications which can reduce need to reduce penny size use medication responsibly follow medical advice and report side effects as appropriate to your healthcare provider to avoid potential uh, impact on penile size of, of uh, all of the side effects over the same maintain your mono health is also uh, is very key so monitor your mono levels or imbalances such as low testosterone so to support normal penile function and also size. Also very key, seek medical advice very early so that you consult your healthcare provider for any symptoms, especially for perineal disease or hormonal imbalances, for early diagnosis and also treatment uh, to prevent progression and also complications. Engage in regular sexual activity is also another action where you, have, you, you want to maintain healthy life, sexual life to promote the penile health and also prevent atrophy. Promote good blood flow and prevent loss of uh, uh, penile tissue and elasticity. Educate yourself also. Stay informed about penile health and prevent measures uh, to help recognize health symptoms and also ensure and taking preventive uh, actions as much as possible. Regular medical checkups. So stay informed uh, about your, from your healthcare provider so that you prevent uh, to do screening and prevent further problems on your penile health. Avoid excessive cycling. Avoid excessive cycling. And if you are cycling, use padded bike shorts to adjust your bike score to reduce the pressure on your perineum. This prevents the numbness and shrinkage of, for prolonged uh, pressure. Address sexual health issues promptly. Seek treatment for any sexual issues or discomfort as soon as possible so that you, you prevent worsening symptoms and the potential long-term effects on the penile health. So preventing reduced penile size involves combination of uh, health lifestyle practices, regular medical checkups, and proactive management of underlying conditions. By maintaining overall health, addressing risk factors, and seeking medical advice, 
when needed, you can help or prevent to minimize the health, uh, the risk of penile shrinkage and also associated complications. Uh, on, the, on these guys, uh, reducing the risk of penile size involves addressing poor lifestyle factors, underlying health conditions which can cause both the issues. Key preventive strategies include maintaining uh, healthy weight, engage in regular physical activity to pay, and also uh, having that uh, balanced diet to avoid excess fat accumulation in the PPK area. Avoid smoking and excessive alcohol, both which can in, uh, affect impact of blood flow and overall pain and health. Managing stress is also another way. You use uh, stress reduction techniques uh, which can negatively impact your, uh, your pain and health. Regular monitoring, keep track and manage chronic health conditions such as diabetes, hypertension and hormonal uh, imbalance. Seek medical advice, consult with the healthcare provider for early detection and treatment for conditions such as pioneer disease and hormonal imbalances. Safe practices, protect against injury and excessive cycling to prevent trauma and also pressure on the penile area. Maintain sexual health, regular sexual activity and addressing sexual health issues as much as possible to promptly can, can help uh, your penile health and also function. So by, by incorporating these uh, safe practices into, daily, into your daily being and life and remaining proactive about health and wellness, individuals can effectively manage the risk of pen, reduced penile size and associated complications. Regular checkups, open communication with the healthcare provider are very crucial for optimal and also preventive and overall healthy well-being. Guys, welcome. The channel is not screen. Kindly, if you have not subscribed, I want to encourage you to subscribe and I want to welcome you to our next video. Peace, guys, and we love you very much.